Hey guys, welcome back. This, I'm your host, Tennessee Tim, down here at the wheel. Wheel, Tennessee. Got a call about a swarm over here at this apple orchard. I'm just gonna scoot that right up against there. Make sure y'all can see this. And uh, try to get them to just walk right in this box. They probably one of mine come off this trailer over here behind me, <laughs> more than likely. Pretty good size swarm. And uh, anyway, y'all follow along. I got a lot of this swarm catch here on some time lapse. I like to watch how the the, the, the size of the cluster will move and as it ebbs and flows in. You see where I just knocked them off and they kind of scattered around. And this was a really nice one. I, I, I guess four and a half pounds of bees, maybe five. So keep watching. Hey guys, this is Tennessee Tim. I'm out here at the Granite Wheel Apple Orchard. It's the lake over behind me. There's my trailer. It's probably where this swarm come from. You know what? What'd you do today? God gave me one more day to get up. You know what I did? I went beekeeping. He gave me one more day in the sunshine. I got up, I went outside, caught a swarm, played with some bugs, got a little free vitamin D, right? What'd you do today? What'd you do today? You gotta get up and go. You can't sit in your recliner at the house and hope things get better. You got to take it in your own hands. God give you strength. Man, you the one gotta do it though. He ain't gonna take it from you. You gonna have to do it. Hope you're having as blessed of a day as I am. Let's get back to the swarm call. Alright, I stopped the camera because I'm seeing something down here. I'm seeing a little flash of red, like a red abdomen. And I'm having to reach through the fence over some, <coughs> over some fur in <laughs> You Yeah, I wish we luck on this queen grab. I think I see the queen in this cluster. Look at that, she's dying. There's a queen right there. They ain't bowling her. And they're staying right on her like that. Yeah. I don't know what I'm seeing, y'all. I'm having a hard time seeing it. I'm in a bad position right here. Let's see if I can get around here and put my hands on this thing. Oh, and I got fire ants up to me. Ooh, that feels good. Yeah, baby. Oh, shoot. Y'all bear with me a minute. Okay, guys. Let's reposition. <clears throat> Last time I seen her, it was over in here somewhere. Let's see. I think it was. We got one pinned down, I'm gonna see her. You got her on that stick? It's a perch. It's, don't breathe on them.
pretty thing. It must be a virgin. See how small she is? She's really little. She's teen nanny. Uh, to be honest with you, I don't know what I'm seeing. But I'm having a good time doing it. <laughs> Whatever it is. If y'all see me using that smoker, it's it's not lit. It's just I use it to kind of move bees around that kind of stubborn. Just the smell of where that fire was in there is enough to make them move. So if you see that, that's that's not smoke, it's ashes. <laughs> You've never caught a swarm. This is the second coolest thing about beekeeping, y'all. It, uh, other than making your own queens from queen, uh, from like swarm cells, queen cells. Other than that, swarm kitchen's got to be one of the coolest things about this. I got the queen. That's that big clump. You can see how they covered her up. They wasn't balling her. I don't know how to describe it, but they was really laying on top of her, and she's kind of lethargic acting. But she's small, very small. <coughs> I'll be back tomorrow to figure out which box they come out of. I'll take this to another yard and throw the feed to them. It's fresh swarm. Give them some frames, see if I can't get some foundations drawed out real quick. Swarms are, swarms are wax drawing machines, I'm gonna tell you. A lot of foundations that get drawn out off of a swarm. They gorge before they leave. They're all primed up and ready to make wax wherever new home's gonna be. So y'all keep firing along. If you stay with me this long, I appreciate it. If you like what you're seeing, click that thumbs up. If you really like it, click that subscribe. Let's go. And I jumped up in the truck and <clears throat> took a hydration break. Looking at the, the hive working over here, this swarm I'm catching. I'm looking at the trailer. I'm pretty sure a second swarm is hanging on that branch over there. Half of them's clustered up in that box around that queen clip on that one. And I seen a red butted queen on the face of that box. When I was down there raking bees off, I couldn't get fingers on her. So I'm thinking I got a virgin in that queen clip over there. And I think at the same time, another swarm come out of another colony. Pretty day, right conditions. And this other one, she's a lot bigger, a bigger one. So I may have, a, <laughs> I may have two swarms on the same branch. That'd be pretty cool. That ain't never happened before. And, uh, you get this many bees around each other, I guess anything's possible, right? Anyway, I thank the Lord for being able to get up and do this. Uh, there was days that I just daydreamed of uh, being able to get up and do this. And uh, God give me strength. I, I shut up with the excuses. Mm, what is that called? Self-responsibility? A lot of people don't like to talk about that stuff today. Oh, no, it ain't my fault. I'm in this condition because of this person or that person. Everybody wants to pass the buck. Nobody wants to say, I did it to myself. But if you can say, I did it to myself, you get the mindset, mm, I can fix it. So I'm trying to fix my condition. And I sure do love working these bugs in a box. I'm going to tell you, they saved my life smell of them if you beekeeper if you know you know if you're beekeeper you know what i'm talking about it's the smell of a healthy beehive man it's it's just like it kicks endorphins in my brain every time i hear propolis pop i get a, a little adrenaline rush and uh 
I'm out here on my walking stick today because I'm going to do this until they throw dirt on top of me to slow me down. Come along, y'all. Let's see what else we can get into. I think I might have found the candidate where this comes from. <clears throat> they are loud over there. That's why you got to inspect your boxes. Inspect your boxes. Stay on top of them, y'all. <laughs> I hope y'all having a great day. Look how beautiful this guy. Is it not gorgeous out here? There's that swarm. Look at this. Split rail fence. Look at the apples starting to bloom. I'm gonna tell you, it's so country boy right here you talking to, that you listening to. I got me a six gallon glass carboy at the house. And I'm gonna take some of them apples some of this honey that mm, they may not <laughs> some of these others may some of the honey that these guys gonna make i'm gonna make me a lovely apple mead might even throw a cinnamon stick in it here girls here's your time for a close-up huh y'all looking good everybody looking good everybody working like they're supposed to be oh well back to the swarm I don't know if there'll ever be a time that I don't come over here and film this place. I mean, it's just gorgeous. This is behind our house here. That he, got some, he also owns some German short hair pointers here with Lake. He and his wife's got this for playground for her kids. He's got his wife's. She ain't got a mount yet, but on her front, on her porch, wrap around porch. He's got her flowers, her ferns that hang on her porch on water timer, on a, like a spray hose, certain time of day, it waters the, waters the ferns for automatically. He did all this, this is, this is, he's doing this for kids to attract children to come down here, you know, do these, uh, you pick when the apples come in season. He's got stuff, you know, like a pet zoo for the kids. See all the baby goats, all the kids love the goats. And yeah, all they want in treats, see? I had to say something. This right here is the start of his, this patch right here is the Arctic Frost, Frost Arctic something, something orange. Uh, I ain't getting out, the back's hurting too bad, but that's some kind of, oh, there he is over here. Like I said, there's never gonna be a time I come in here that I won't make a little video. I'm taking, I use this really to keep up with what I'm doing on my little places. So let's, let me get out and talk to them. Be owner. careful. Thank you, sir, you too. He said those are Arctic Frost Satsumas. The strawberry, this is live. Now this is just for him and his kids back here, right? They don't have a U-Pick strawberry patch. This is strawberries. There's, there's some greenhouses. I didn't show you the greenhouses. I turn the camera around. We can kind of see where we've been. Y'all don't mind the junk in the back of my truck or in the back of my seat here. But he's got these big, long greenhouses. Uh, those chicken houses, I think he's trying to buy them back. He, he Those used to be his. And this is a little or, or a vineyard back here. Got a little vineyard going on. And I tell you... I know every beekeeper says this in the world. I make the best taste and honey you've ever tried comes from my own land. And it does, y'all, it does. Ain't nothing beats the taste of honey out of your own bees. But <clears throat> with 19 different <laughs> variants of apples, <laughs> good Lord, man. You talking about something special. The honey that this, look, all these are in bloom. I need to look and see if i see any bees flying on any of this they wasn't on it a while ago but uh it makes a very very unique flavored honey that man it's got one more flavor it really like i said everybody keeper thinks that but everybody who's tried it <laughs> we uh we give samples away at our little roadside stand well We'll give you a little squirt of wildflower, a little squirt of apple blossom, let you make your own mind up. <laughs> you know, the tongue don't lie to you. So uh, anyway, this is where, this part of 
the the orchard now he's got a he's got a maze they just planted uh, six thousand more i think last week uh, he he did his the name of the name of his farm is the granite wheel you love it when you lose your train of thought anyway it's this it's he's got this geared up more for the kids than anything they uh they bring he's trying to get school groups that come out here and um it, it's a really good he's got a really good program planned out i'm i'm gonna try to get me one of those honey stick machines he's wanting me to get into making honey straws with some of this apple blossom honey that uh he can have he's gonna have a store down here but it's geared like i said it's geared toward little ones and uh good lord willing i'm gonna bring my grandbabies down here and we're gonna get what is it what is it what is it we're gonna pick us some sun crisp golden apples one day together yeah so it's a it's a beautiful spot he's got fixed up down here y'all it really is it's it's worth the ride over here now it they won't have apples till this fall but you know uh you look them up and you can see what all they got going on hey guys back here at barbara's bees again she's been working in the garden what do you got in your bag parsley parsley yeah she's they're fixing to dehydrate a bunch of them so we'll have fresh parsley to use for, for ourselves this swarm that i caught over at the apple orchard I'm gonna give it to you and put it in one of your empties over here. I'm gonna rob a couple frames of milk, shake the bees off of it, make some room for this. Uh, I did a video last week showing how to use this uh, extra piece they draw off the bottom of a medium. I showed how you can cut this off and start our top bar high with it. I'm fixing to do one now using this queen isolation cage get her to lay this up with eggs i'm fixing to show them how to make queens with this right here so you'll have to come back and watch the rest of the video granny I will. <laughs> anyway pardon the road noise bless the little heart the mamas didn't hug them enough when they was children and now the rest of us had to put up with the little buttholes <laughs> They come by here rolling black smoke. They think, oh, oh, he wants to hear how my truck sounds. Oh, God. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm laying awake 2 o'clock in the morning and waiting on you to come. Sorry, rolling black smoke. Uh-huh. All right, guys, whenever you go up to a hive, first thing you do is you address the hive. Hello, hive. Knock, knock. <laughs> they all the way up in the top of this. If I had it, I would, but I ain't got them. I'm just making do with what I got. That's a proper box of bugs there. They off quiet too. It's always good. see they're currently drawing wax out on this one for in here I may take his whole top box off and reestablish a colony over here to add with his swarm and queen yeah. yeah right there that's cat brood that cat brood got a little milk larvae they storing a little honey go just a little deeper it's okay girl it's okay it's okay, just stay calm. Just stay calm. 
beautiful day in Tennessee. T-shirt weather, not 68 to supposed to be 70 today. I don't feel like it right now. Stand over here in the shade of this cherry tree, it's in bloom. Checking these cups to make sure there's not no that right there be ideal. Be ideal. Give us a little food on it. Check one more. Then I'll take what I need and put them back together accordingly. Oh, now. And what I'm looking for is what I call milk larvae. These, uh, bees in this swarm their maternal instinct to kick in they'll have to take care of them babies and acts as an anchor Derek Trump the state trooper from Tennessee said it best we just manage their wild tendencies okay I don't know if you see down in here there's some Hold that steam screen shut out in the sunlight there. So, a little bit of open larva. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna set this whole medium box over here on top of this one behind me and uh, give, this, give this swarm this whole top of this box right here. And I'm not looking for the queen. I know she's in here somewhere, and this one right here is real bad about that first puff of smoke hits. She runs down in that colony as deep as she can. So, I give it good smoke, and I go through it looking for her. Bunch of walking drones. Drone cups. You can see what we're seeing here. They're looking really, really good. They're looking good. And if I was in the making a a big honey crop, I just throw a super on here. I'm trying to grow my numbers. And to do that, you kind of keep them small. This is gonna be the fun part, moving this from here to over yonder. While I'm doing this inspection, sitting here watching myself do it, I realize I'm just going to do one more frame. I'm going to do one more frame, and I'll do the whole box. <laughs> Nectar frame, you can see it glistening in the sun. They work in the back side of that. Plenty of good buck bees here to work with. Got my knees against some of them. They're good and chill. I like chill bees. Love chill bees. You don't want to work angry bees. That is no fun. Nobody enjoys that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the top on this. I'm gonna break it in half. I'm gonna set the top half off. Set it over here. Y'all follow along. We're starting to make splits naturally. No grafting involved. This is just another way you can do it.